record on this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we've closed. Okay, cool. Yep. So can you see that? Uh, what I need to do. Have you hit that green button in the bottom of your Zoom window that says share? Uh, green button. Do I need to download? Are you, um, maybe, okay, maybe just for time expediency, maybe I'll share mine instead. Okay. Rather than worrying. Oh, here we go. Oh, you got it? you got it? Yeah. All right, cool. Close that right? Mine. Yep. Uh, I haven't got it yet. That's it. Looks good. Great. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to handle this. Mm -hmm. So that um, basically, what are your the people who've ordered are going to be walking around to the different suppliers and picking it up? Is that right? No, we're going to pick, do do all of that, and okay. then we'll You're have one one box ready for them. Okay, cool. But you, the first thing you need to do is kind of let the producers know how much is yes. being bought. Yep. Yeah. So if you go into the order cycle. Mm -hmm. Now, which is now closed and just open it up. So edit, hit the edit, edit button. Uh, then up the top, in the top line, is a little button that says notify producers. And that is going to send an email to each of the producers at the address that they have as the notifications address. Um, okay. That will tell them the totals of how much has been bought. So it doesn't break it down by each customer, but it'll say you need to bring you know, six litres of milk and five dozen extra large eggs and whatever it is. Okay. For the, um, so you might want to just go through your profiles and just check that the notifications email on each of the producers is the oh, right one because you probably okay. just put them all as... Um, Myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm probably about to get a whole heap of emails. You're going to get a lot of emails. I mean, look, if you wanted to, to just, you know... I can just give time, them... I've only got four orders, so I can just send them a spreadsheet or something. It's no big deal. Or, or, but, just leave, or just leave it as is. Send the emails to yourself so that you understand what they're getting and just forward it to them. Yes. That would be maybe another way to do it. Now, the notification email address, is that in their enterprise? Yeah. What, yeah. Where it says... Um, Sunday. Can I just have a quick look at that? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. So if I go to um, Allender Farm, for example, um, and down underneath the users is okay. So notification. So that comes to me. Yeah. If I go to um, who's someone that set themselves up? The Florio Garlic Fellow, is that the one who did himself? Florio Garlic. Okay, so that's gone to him. Yeah. The other one is there's two for Fal Falkai Farm. But they don't show up on there, do they? Only the one that I set up, but I didn't use. So, like, Village Greens don't sit in there. So, the ones. So. Only the one. Like Falkai Farm, we left that in there, but they set themselves up afterwards as uh, Falkai Farm pasture eggs or something, I think. Okay. this is So I can't see that. Yeah, you can. And so they set themselves up, so their notification email will... Will go straight there. to them. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. And so did you want me to evaporate and disappear that Falkai Farm eggs? Yes, please. Yep, yep the yep. one that I set up. That'd be great. Right. Farm eggs. Disappear. Cool. Uh, all right. So that's gone to them, but I'll show you another way to do that. So if you go into the reports tab, you'll be able to see that email yourself in terms of. Uh, but so the other way to do that is there. So the orders and fulfillment reports, the top one, order cycle supplier totals. Mm -hmm. Just click on that. Um, and for this first one, you know, you just leave the dates. It's picking anything up from the last month. But in future, you would kind of, you know, choose which order cycle or if you only wanted one producer or something, you know, yeah. you can use these filters. Mm -hmm. So if you actually just hit search, it'll bring up the last month. So that then oh, shows awesome. the totals of each thing. 
and you can hit that little button at the top to download that as a CSV and have it as a spreadsheet. Uh, yeah. So then you can do what you like with it. So that's just downloaded automatically, has it? Uh, uh, well, you'll need to hit search again. So oh, hit search again. That on yep. Yet. yep, so that'll bring you down a spreadsheet. So that was reports and I just want to go back to what that was. Reports. Water cycle support. Water cycle. I'll make a little, uh, I'll make another one of my little slide shares um, just for this bit because we're in the same conversation with a few people. Notify producers button. button. I just thought if I talk through it with you, then it'll be clear what the steps are. Mm. Be quicker. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, notification email. Right, and reports. Supplier totals. Then the other one, have a look at the order cycle customer totals. So it's a fourth one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So this basically just shows you oh, for each so customer. Cool their order, yeah. what they've got, et cetera, et cetera. Excellent. Breaks out, you know, your fees separately and anyway, so you can have a play and have a look around at what's going on in those reports. Yeah, cool. So good. So then there's two more that I'll show you just quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you go back to reports again or back or however you want to do it. Yeah, so if you just scroll down, you can have a play with all these other things, but the two others I'll bring your attention to are kind of at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So pack, pack by more. customer or pack by supplier. Yeah. So if you pick like pack by supplier, uh, you might want to just pick the order cycle for this one because I don't think it defaults dates. So the quickest way, yeah, you can do dates. Is so I would do I just do the twentieth? Uh, no, so go from when you, go from when you opened okay. the orders. Yeah, that'll do. Don't need to worry about the time. No, no. And just search. Uh, do I want to do it by supply? Uh, yeah, no start way. start by supply. Let's have a look at by supply first. So what that's then doing, if you just scroll down, is so for each farmer, it's saying, you know, which customer is picking up what from there, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, um, right. So then, you know, they, if they want to have that list sitting there and just cross things off as people pick them up or, you know. Yeah, cool. Cool. And I can also format it in a way that I can send that to her. So she'll yeah. pack, like Brenda will pack that today, for example. She just said yeah. let her know by five o'clock. Yeah. So I can put all of Carol Bandman's together so she yeah. can have a – so when I go and get it, I've got yeah. all of Carol's, well, all of if Julie's. You, if you flick – if you now flick that drop down to, say, mm -hmm. pack by customer. Okay, so I'm just going to – So if you kind of think that that list that you've got there is kind of like under farm, just yeah. the list in that form, that's why it says pack by supplier because they just need to see what do I need to pack. But now mm -hmm. if you look at pack by customer – it's by, yeah. the, oh. by the customer. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So All right. cool. Pack my supplier. So this was. Um... These are the packing reports packed by supplier and packed by customer. Now I've got one more special little treat for you. Uh, so if you go to the orders page now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. Uh, and then just scroll down a little bit to underneath where it says 15 per page, like where you can select the orders and just use that button in the top left to select them all. Sorry, just leave it as 15 because you've only got a few orders. Oh, yeah. So use, use the box underneath the top left of the table. That's it. Select all those orders. 
And now mm-hmm. over on the right, there's a box that says print invoices. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this, is, this is generating a PDF yeah. for you, which basically has a page for each mm-hmm. customer. That's like the customer yeah. name. Ah, oh, yeah. So if you now view that yeah. file. So you've basically, you could kind of just print that out. Um, and right. if, you, if you're doing the packing, that's the easiest way as in it's sort of formatted and has all of the information, et cetera. So that's yeah. effect, you can effectively use that as your packing sheets for the customers. Awesome. And you can see on the bottom of that, you know, if you were using different payment methods or whatever, you can see who's paid or hasn't paid or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so I can do that. Um, one could just a question, then that gets me through tomorrow. So that's just amazing. Um, and the feedback, as I said, from the customers was just awesome. Great. Um, Thank you. Feel one, free to send it through because we, that we're going yeah. to, you're the first one to make it online. We're talking to a lot of oh, farmers market. Yeah. They're, the, they're the first one to get there. So if you wanted to even just flick me a couple of sentences about okay. um, whether you're going to I will do. You, that would be One very question cool. that someone had, yeah. I'll just find it. Yeah. Um, Oh, it would be easier if all of the products from the same supplier and farmer were together. So I'm not sure whether that's just the way that I've had stuff no, set up. No, I don't think I don't think it is. I think it is basically the um, basically they sort of in alphabetical order, or you can use the categories, you know, to organise them by categories. But okay. people, you can go back to people and just sort of say, if you look at the search, I know it's not quite what she's asking, but if you look at the search button. Um, mm-hmm. It says search by product or producer. You know, they can start typing yeah. the producer yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. All of that and they know, the cus- yeah. they know the people they like to buy from, so they can yeah. go in and go, right, Flurio Milk, yeah. and then there'll be all the stuff for Flurio yeah. Milk. And Fleury then they clear that out and get the next one, get the next one. Yeah, okay. yeah. so, so that that's, the, that's the, what we can do at the moment is search yeah. by producer. Yeah. And if they just sort of start typing, you know, it's dynamic, so it'll adjusting the screen mm. so if they start typing fleur you know they'll see the garlic yes. and then, you know whatever yeah yeah okay all right i think that's basically it for now awesome and i will send you just yeah a couple of little comments um that i think you know may be helpful for other people and we've obviously only just scratched the surface of yeah. uh, who we've got in there um but that's okay that's all right for now yeah, next week's a new week you're certainly getting a gold star for proactive hands-on kind of getting it happening. So, yeah, well done. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate your help at the end of the emails. Oh, no worries. Okay. okay. All right. Enjoy. See you Thanks. Later. Bye, Kirsten. See ya. Yeah.